So in the last video we learned how to create our own simple cryptocurrency and in this video we're going to learn how to create our own simple lottery. So the way our lottery works is you buy a ticket with a certain amount of ether, ether goes into the pot and the winner is determined based off of a random number. So if the random number returns a number that belongs to one of your tickets, you win all of the ether that's been contributed and then the lottery resets. So the way it works is we have an array called tickets and it stores addresses. So every time you buy a ticket an item gets added to this array. So whatever index in the array you are that your number. So down here we just have the regular stuff. We have the name of our token, we have its symbol which is just LOT. Uh, we can set the maximum number of tickets, the number of tickets left, the current number of tickets that have been bought, the random number that is going to decide the winner and then the latest winner which is just an address. Then down here we have our sort of constructor which sets up our token the first time it's executed on the Ethereum network. Then down here it starts to get interesting when we have our buy function. So the way our buy function works is you have to run the buy function every time you want to buy a single ticket. So what we do is we require the amount of ether contributed to be equal to one ether. So one ether equals one ticket. So then what we do is we just say remaining tickets minus one has to be less than or equal to remaining tickets. That's a mistake. So remaining tickets minus val should be less than remaining tickets to prevent overflows. And here is where we give the user the ticket. We say tickets.push and we push their address into our array and we increase the ticket count by one. Then we have a withdraw function, but we're going to skip that and go to the choose winner function. So what we do is we check that the ticket count is greater than zero so that there actually is some tickets for the lottery sold. And then what we do is we generate the random number and this is the number that determines the winner. So the way we get the random number is we get the current block number, subtract one, and then we run it through the block hash function to give us the hash of the block, which is just a hexadecimal number. So because it's a hexadecimal number, we convert it into an unsigned int for solidity to be able to process it because otherwise we couldn't do the modulus operator on it. So we convert it to an integer and the modulus operator just ensures that the random number generated is always going to fall within a particular range. So our range is our ticket count. So if we have 100 tickets, we only want the random number to be between 0 and 99 because otherwise our array will be out of bounds. Then what we do is we just assess the address of the latest winner is equal to tickets random num. So we go to tickets and we put the user's number in and that tells us the winner. And what we do is we take all of the tickets that people buy and we essentially just give them to the winner. So if the winner buys one ticket and they win the lottery and there's 100 tickets sold, they then essentially have 100 winning tickets and then they can withdraw those tickets for the ether. So then what we do after we've picked the winner is we reset the ticket count and we reset the number of remaining tickets and then we delete the tickets from this lottery to reset the array so that the next time it runs it starts with zero tickets being sold. Then what we do in our withdraw function is we check that the person actually has won something to withdraw. We check that their balance is greater than zero and then if it is greater than zero we just get their balance out of the winnings. We set that equal to amount to withdraw and then now that we've got their balance we reset their balance in the winnings map so that they can't withdraw more than once and their winnings is measured in tickets so to convert it into ether we have to multiply it by this number here because that's kind of like our exchange rate and then what we do is we transfer the ether to the user. So what I can do is I can run it in the web browser here. You can see I can use MetaMask. I have 3.8 ether left and the way I would run it is I would just give the token a name, a symbol and a value. So its name is just going to be how Lotto. The symbol is just going to be LOT and the number of tickets is going to be 1000 and I'm going to click create. So this is just the confirmation window. Ignore the prices because since we're on the test network, you can see up here we're on the Robston test network. It's completely free even though it converts the ether into dollars. It's completely free. So we click submit and our lottery is being created. And because the test networks are actually public, you can actually go onto the test network and you can see the contract. And what I'll do is I'll include a link into the video description for that so that you can see uh, the actual live contract. So here here our lottery was created. So you can see I click remaining tickets, we have a thousand. I go to the symbol, it tells us the symbol. The amount of tickets is zero. There's no latest winner. The random number wasn't generated. There's our name and there is the maximum number of tickets. So I'm gonna buy a ticket. So to buy a ticket, I have to scroll up here and in the value up here, I click on that and I convert it to ether and I wanna send one ether to buy one ticket. So I click that, I click buy and I click submit. If I wanted to, I could send myself some more with the faucet. So I'll just click that and I'll see if they'll send me some more. So there you can see the buy transaction went through. So that transaction went through. If I go to MetaMask, you can see I have my new ether, but you can see on etherscan.io and you can see a list of all my transactions. So there's a transaction that sent me three ether and there's a transaction I just sent to our contract 
I sent it one ether and that was me buying a lottery ticket. So here's our contract that I just created. The contract was created. Then we sent one ether to the contract. I'm going to send one more ether to the contract to buy a second ticket. So I scroll down, I click buy and I confirm that. You can see now if I refresh that we have three transactions in our lottery. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a winner. So this is how we choose a winner. So our random number is currently zero. We've sold two tickets. So the winner has to have an ID of zero or one because there's two tickets and we can see that if we go to ticket count you can see there's two tickets and there's 998 remaining so now if i click choose winner and i click submit so the reason it is an instant is because we have to wait on ethereum to mine the next block but you can see there is the new block there there is our transaction completed so you can see here our latest winner is that address there which happens to be our address the random number that was generated happens to be zero because it can only have been zero or one so it happened to be zero but you can see the latest winner is us which means if i copy this address into the winnings field here i click on that you can see we have two tickets which entitles us to two ether so if i click withdraw i click submit it's going to withdraw the ether so you can see at the minute we have 4.8 ether and as soon as this transaction gets put into a block and gets mined we're going to get two more ether added to our account so that transaction went through if i click on metamask now you can see we have 6.8 ether and you can see if we go to the test net section of ether scan we have six transactions in our contract click on the last transaction and we scroll down you can see here is our contract and here it says transfer to ether to this address so that's it for this video don't forget to like comment favorite and subscribe don't forget to follow us on facebook twitter and reddit but that's for this video and I'll see you next time.